50 with hardware that was struggling at the time. While personally, I haven't encountered many issues on PC, the game has played better than most AAA games that I've played in the past. However, there are a ton of areas for improvement and optimization that I can see throughout the game. Personally, I think this needs to be their main focus going forward, getting the game to an optimal state of play before they try adding any more assets or game content or anything like that. Now, it was also announced that Power World is the most played third-party title in the history of Xbox Game Pass. Honestly, if they keep it up, they very well could take the top spot overall if they continue with all the growth that they've had so far. But what I find really interesting about this whole partnership with Xbox Pocket Pair and all of the investment of assets that Xbox has on their side trying to get the game working on their platform is that it's a signal that's counter to what we've seen on Twitter or the conversations we've seen in different articles about the game and its potential future. At this point, we've seen it all. We discussed this in the past where it, you know, stolen assets, plagiarized characters, etc., etc. However, why would Xbox be investing time, money, and assets into a game that could be DMCA'd, especially because I would imagine their legal teams would be involved, seeing that the other platform that would be suing that company is one of their main competitors in Nintendo. So it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Even more so, why would Power World come up with a roadmap for the game if they're tangled up in legal trouble? If you've been online at all over the past few days, you've seen how downright toxic some of the discourse surrounding the game has become. It's sparked debates about artists, AI art, the integrity of game design, and more. A keystone of this debate came from the allegation that the game was using stolen assets from Pokemon, where users had played a video showing the structure, skeletal structure, and movement of certain monsters had perfectly aligned with a similar Pokemon-type character. Days later, it was discovered that the one who made this video fabricated an elaborate lie because they didn't take too kindly to the way that Power World portrayed animals. Regardless of these allegations being disproven, the damage was already done. The accusations are still floating around and they're on the tips of tongues of anybody that's on the opposition of Power World. The ongoing conversation surrounding the game have ultimately reached the ears of Nintendo, who, likely growing tired of the discourse and players nagging them for a public statement, said, We've received many inquiries regarding another company's game released in January 2024. We have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon intellectual property or assets in that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts that infringe on intellectual property rights related to the Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon in its world and work to bring the world together through Pokemon in the future. Personally, after seeing how quickly Nintendo reacted to the Pokemon mod that a content creator made for Pal World, I have a hard time believing that Nintendo will take any action at all. While I am sure that they are looking at the game to make sure they are protecting their trademarks, I have a hard time believing that if there was anything that warranted action on the side of Nintendo, it would have happened either in the two years of game trailers that we've seen of the game so far, or in the week of the game's meteoric rise. How genuinely unhinged do you have to be to be so offended by something that you fabricate evidence against another game, making it look like they stole assets from somewhere? blows my mind how far people will go, the lengths they will go to. Where do these people even come from? They need to be locked up or taken off the internet. At the very least, they need to be sued because what they did was incredibly illegal. Now, again, I brought this up in another video. If Power World is infringing on the trademarks of Pokemon or Nintendo, that they need to be punished for it, and they should be punished for it. I love the game, but I can still sit here and say that if they did something illegal, they need to be punished for it because that's how the world works. Now, with that said, if there was any reason that Nintendo could DMCA 